Hi guys and welcome back to um, the Oxy Shiny Hunt. This is day two we're doing this. Um, and bear with me one second, let me mute that. Um, so yeah, we got to, I think it was 110 um, soft resets last time. Um, so we'll see how we go today. I'm thinking about maybe streaming for a couple of hours again. Um, as you can probably see from last time, it's very different. I have a webcam this time. And I apologize if there's any background noise, there's some work going on um, in the park outside my house. So um, yeah. We'll see how many times I forget to um, add to the counter this time. Because I kept doing that last time. I hope everyone's had a um, a good weekend. It's been pretty busy for me. Um, on Friday, um, if you were at the my previous stream, you'll know that I um, so I streamed on Thursday, and then Friday I had my um, university graduate showcase, um, where they were um, basically just uh, allowing people to from their final year um, show their um major projects um and then people could go throughout the day and have a look around and view them um i have just finished a um game design degree um specializing in game art so i um had all my artwork like across the wall um from two two of my different projects that i did both of them were um, major art projects um one was a showcase of a game that a game concept that I created, um, and the other was again a game concept. But I actually had to um, create all of the assets for the game and then produce a vertical slice or a level um, in in like in the uh, whichever game engine we um, wanted, and then um, create the final playable game. Um, so it was pretty cool. They had a uh, PCs lined up around the um, in the room, again with the um, artwork on the wall and stuff. So people were playing my game, which was which was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it was a very busy but um, very rewarding day. I felt quite proud of my work, um, which is not something that I would normally say. I'm quite um, underconfident. I think. Um, with a lot of my work um, but it was good it was good to see some of my friends again um, and um, actually speak to some of the lecturers and stuff too so yeah apart from that over the weekend I did a very adult thing I bought a greenhouse <laughs> um, I've been growing some strawberries and um, my ber the birds outside kept attacking them um, so we went and brought a like a pop-up greenhouse type thing um, and then yesterday I actually did some shiny hunting on my other account, um, just chilling while my partner Ian was uh, watching touring cars. Um, and I was shiny hunting for, um, I was doing soft resetting, but I was doing it for Turtwig um, because that's the only starter from um, Diamond and Pearl that I don't have as a shiny yet. Um, I actually got Piplup um, from Pokemon Go first a couple of weekends ago, and then um, Gymchar in a mass outbreak on Legends Arceus. So, um, apart from this uh, this um, shiny hunt, I haven't actually got a shiny yet from Soft Resetting. So, wish me luck on that one too. Um, I think I got uh, to 115. Um, yeah, it's weird because I've got to 115 now. 115 yesterday um, doing that with no shiny. Um, but I did that for a couple of hours in the evening um, and we made like a small roast dinner and stuff in the evening too which was, we slightly burnt it but it still tasted good. Um, so yeah, um, today has been very chill morning, um, putting dinner on for later, I'm doing like a slow cooker 
dinner um, so I could spend some time this afternoon just streaming and stuff so I'm just setting, uh, testing out some settings and things, sorting up my, like setting up my webcam um, and things that I got, I think I bought it on Friday actually, um, when we came back from the showcase I went and picked it up from Argos um, but I had a bit of trouble because um, my PC that I have is uh, quite, it's getting old now, it's, I want to say it's like mm, seven or eight years old maybe. Um, so um, the webcam that I bought it was the um, stream, the Logitech, Log, the Logitech stream cam, um, which I know is probably quite a popular one, um, but I got it for a decent price. Um, and it, um, the connector is not USB, it's USB-C and the port that I have on the top of my PC um, doesn't work um, because the um, motherboard that I have doesn't um, support it. Um, so I ordered like an adapter and things that some other people had said that ha would work um, with it because a lot of the USB-C adapters, they don't support video um, transfer. Um, but we were looking through the manuals and everything up online and um, considering how much it cost um, to potentially at some point upgrade my PC and things like that. Um, but we found there was actually a port on the um, on the back of the um, motherboard instead of on the top. So we plugged in and it works perfectly. So yeah, I've been messing around with some settings. I did a little bit of um, art yesterday, upgrading the overlay and things. Um, just very simple stuff, but makes it a little bit more fun um, and I actually created a, um, a stream starting suit the stream starting soon screen that's too many s's for me I struggle with s's a lot um, and a be right back screen as well if I if I need that um, to take a break depending on how long I stream or um, if I need to pop um, to the loo or something but either way that was a lot of fun yesterday I still got a lot of art things to do um, but I spent a couple of hours doing that yesterday morning as well, so, um, yeah, it's kind of an update between the last time I streamed and now. And I actually uh, am using the um, uh, webcam as my microphone, so that way Last time I had a couple of um, issues with my headphones dying um, because I didn't charge them properly before um, I started streaming. So if they die this time, um, it, it's not going to matter because I um, the audio won't cut out or anything. Um, and I feel like the um, quality is pretty okay um, for at least me starting out and stuff. So that's that's fine. Um, but yeah, a lot of um, faffing and things with the uh, settings, but. I think I've got it to a place where I'm okay with the quality right now, so. But I really hope we will be able to get some sparkles today. Have some good shiny luck, hopefully. Otherwise I feel like this is gonna be like months and months going on to hunt for this one. Um, but I know we're on pretty low numbers right now, so it really doesn't matter. As I said last time, I'm going to continue this until I get it, no matter how long it takes. So, um, but depending on um, how busy my weeks are and stuff, I might also throw some other um, shiny hunts. I'm really big into egg hatching as well. I haven't done it on um, this game yet, actually, um, because um, as I said last time, I only literally just beat the um, Elite Four um, and Champion as well, which I really struggled with. Um, which I know a lot of people do. I've been seeing a few other people on my Facebook groups that I follow having the same sort of issue. So I think it's a pretty worldwide um, or global problem that people um, have when they um, when they play this game. But um, I'm thinking I've got a couple of other hunts on the go, but I'll either continue one of those or maybe I'll um, I'll start a brand new hunt um, or I could do some mass outbreaks and things on Arceus because I'm low-key obsessed with that game um again i i've played way too many hours in that game already um but it's it's great i love it i need to keep making sure that i'm actually checking this because i tend to get in when i'm talking i kind of go into a world of my own and don't actually pay that much attention 
I'm sorry if my eye looks a bit weird. It's been bugging me this morning. I think hay fever is um, really setting in. I struggled a little bit yesterday because I've been out in the greenhouse this morning and um, I uh, put some um, hay down on top of my strawberries to kind of... Um, I, I read online that it's good. They technically say to use straw, but I don't have straw. I, um, I have hay because I have a, a guinea pig. Um, his name's Theo. Um, and they say that if you put that down when the when the uh, flower the plant is like flowering or has strawberries, it kind of um, helps with like slug problems and things. Because um, I've had a few, um, like I say, the birds, um, but also um, potentially ants that have been trying to eat my strawberries. So um, I've been in there, and I think the kind of dust and the um, um, pollen and things from outside is kind of just bugging my eyes a little bit. Excuse me, but that's the um, that's the joys of summer. But it's um, it's been really hot today. I've um, wearing a really cool um, as in like um, breathable dress, but it's um, very very overcast, so it's just very humid again. Um, I feel like we've been having a lot of. I don't know what that noise was having a lot of um, humid weather recently um, but it tends to be what the UK is you get a bit of sunshine and then it um, either gets cold again or rains or it's just uncomfortably humid I hope everyone else had a um, good weekend um, and a good beginning to the week. I know Mondays is, it is Monday today, isn't it? I think so. Um, is a pretty tough day for a lot of people. Um, but I hope you're doing well. Yeah, I think there um there, there was a play park outside of my house and they um taken all of the things out of it and they're, I think they're turning it more into like a community garden and they've been like drilling and things this morning and like hammering and I don't I haven't actually looked to see what they're doing so if there's a lot of like loud bangs or drills or something that's not really much I can do about it I'm afraid because it's literally right outside my window but um I didn't get a chance to um stream on Saturday um because I, I can't remember Actually, excuse me, my, my memory is not very good because um, of uh, certain things going on in my life, but um, I uh, was doing other things and then the time kind of slipped away and then we ended up doing like, yeah, we went to um, get some um, piggy bits um, to clean my guinea pig out and things and um, the day kind of just slipped away so I didn't actually get around to streaming so I wanted to make sure that I um, um, actually got a chance to do it today so I was really excited to do it. I really enjoyed the previous stream. I know that it wasn't like the longest stream in the world but um, I enjoyed um, interacting with you guys and stuff and you know even if people don't watch um, too frequently I know that um, time period like time zones and things are, um, are a problem um, but as I said last time as well, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but um, until I get, um, or if I get a decent amount of viewers and things, I'll kind of change my um, my timing and that around to kind of suit when people are also free and stuff. But also, um, I want to make sure that it's convenient for me too. So I've still been um, doing things to my portfolio and things, so I'm still actively job hunting too. But this is a good way to um, keep me busy and do something quite um, relaxing and things as well. So that's something I've been wanting to do for years. So I thought just keep up with it um, and um, I've been enjoying it. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a sip of my drink. At some point though I am going to sit down and do a let's play or playthrough, um, whatever you want to call it, for um, RPS2. Um, 
apart from I'm not looking forward to actually doing the Arceus fight again um, because I found that so difficult. Um, but I did it. It took me a couple of hours, but I did it. So um, if you haven't done that battle yet, and you are playing through, I'm not going to give you any spoilers, but just be warned it's difficult. Um, well, I found it difficult anyway, um, compared to the rest of the um, battles throughout the game. Um, but yeah, it was it was really fun though. It was quite rewarding afterwards as well, um, even though I had a slight panic because I um, basically, and whether I spoke about this last time or not, I apologise if I did and I'm kind of repeating myself, but um, I, um, so I wanted to make sure that I got the shiny charm. So before I actually did the final battles and caught the um, the trio and things like that, um, and the trio from, I think it was black and white, uh, but it's been so long I can't remember. Um, which actually they were quite difficult to catch too. Um, but I was um, going through getting level um, 10 on each of the Pokédex entries. Um, and then I just had Arceus remaining before I went and battled him and Garatina. Um, and I... Um, when I uh, completed that, um, I saw that you were supposed to get like a prompt to say that uh, there would be a cutscene so you could get the shiny charm. And I um, I did that and it wasn't coming up and I googled it and I heard that some people were having glitches with it or like bugs and things. I was like, oh my god, I've done all this work and I'm not even going to get my shiny charm, which is exactly what obviously I was aiming for. And um, I realised that I'd actually missed um, doing a level 10 on one of the entries really, really far up in the Pokédex. So I completed that and then it was fine, but my heart kind of sank um, because I thought I'd uh, really, I thought I'd really messed up or I was just going to be really unlucky and got that bug when, you know, shiny hunting is one of the main things I do in any of the Pokemon or any Pokemon game. It's my main thing I do in general when it comes to gaming. Um, but there was actually a small event um, over the weekend. I forget what it was called. Let me... We took a um, snapshot of the of the name. It was like a um, ultra research day on uh, it was on yeah June twelfth. I oh, know it was yesterday. Sorry, not Saturday. Um, and it basically meant that uh, a certain Pokemon were going to be more likely to be shiny, um, and there'd be like research tasks and things too. Um, so I played that. It was supposed to go on from eleven till three. Um, so I was playing that. Uh, throughout the day as well and um, we have a Pokestop literally right outside our house where that park uh, I say it was but is um, it's still linked to be, being the park um, so I put a couple of like laws and things and incense and stuff to try and get a lot of Pokemon spawning but I had absolutely no luck with it at all um, I had hardly any of the Pokemon they mentioned spawn I had a couple of Onyx um, and Geodude and things like that um, but none of them shiny. Um, Ian also played and I also had my um, second account on my iPad I'm going to excuse me but again I didn't have very much luck with it. Um, I don't know whether it was more we should have actually gone out walking um, to potentially get more to spawn and things like that but um, yesterday just wasn't a day we could really do that um, because of the touring cars and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I don't know if anybody else um, played that or had much luck. I saw a couple of people on my Instagram um, posting shinies that they got, so it's probably just bad luck on my part. Um, but either way, they um, have announced um, the, I think it's the 25th of June is when the next community day is, so I'm definitely going to be doing that. And I hope I'll be able to get the um, shinies for that one too. Um, and then they're having one in July and August, I think, as well, so. There is a lot of noise going out there, I apologise. But I was also thinking, one of my uh, main um, shiny hunting for um, Sword and Shield has actually been to um, get all the shinies to create a shiny team and then do another playthrough of Sword and Shield. Um, well, it's 
specifically shield i think um because i have the dlc for that one um so i think i might when i get all of those two um then do the let's play on here as well um and then potentially upload it to youtube as well um but i've got who have i I've got score bunny so far um and i've got a couple of i've got two others um and then there's um two that i've been egg hunting for but i haven't done too much on them the last couple of um or well, the last couple of months actually let me check i have a counter app on my phone um and i'm only on 127 on one of them and 315 on the other so i'm very very early on in the hunting um for those but i might um keep them a secret or i might uh depending on how everything else goes i might end up actually shiny hunting for them on here um depending on how i'm feeling but i'll keep them a secret for now just in case i do uh, you obviously know my who my starter will be but um I will then not save the other ones for now. Um, yeah, that should be fun. I've already played through that game fully two or three times already, um, from start to finish. Um, once in Sword, once in Shield, and then a second time in Shield. So yeah, three times. Uh, so this will be my fourth playthrough, I think. Um, and then... I was also thinking later on maybe doing some of the battle, uh, the, uh, what's it called? My mind's blanking. The um, online uh, competitions, I'm going to call them. I can't think what it's actually called. Um, did I press the button? I'm going to say I did, but I can't remember. So it might be off, but it doesn't matter. Um, to have a bit of fun with that. I know that um, I'm kind of salty that I missed it. I didn't realise that you could have got um, three the three shiny birds um, for taking part in it and then claiming them from as a mystery gift. Um, so I, I might keep an eye out to see what the rewards are, to see whether I want to partake or not. I think they tell you first what the rewards are. I don't think you have to sign up first. Um, I know that I saw on Facebook this morning actually that there's I think between the 19th of June and 20th or 21st I can't remember um, there's another event to get a shiny I think it's Clefable I think Clefairy Clefable one of the two I can't remember now which one it was um, that they are announcing that's going to be a mystery gift um, during those days um, and if I do find that, um, and then there's a code for it, I might share it on my Instagram or something. Oh, hi, thanks for the follow. Um, so yeah, I'll put it on my um, Instagram, um, on my story or something. So if you want to claim that yourself, you can. Hi, how are you doing today? Thank you for joining the stream. Oh, cool. I'm actually um, from Oxfordshire myself. So that's pretty cool. And I, I'm big into Harry Potter too. Um, I've never actually played the um, Assassin's Creed games um, myself. I think my partner Ian, he um, played a, the beginning of one of them. I couldn't tell you which one. Um, but it wasn't really his thing, which is fair enough. Um, but yeah, no, that's pretty cool though. I'm massive into Pokemon myself too. I'm slightly obsessed. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure when you um, joined, I was just talking earlier about um, the event that was happening just over the weekend. It was like the, um, I've already forgotten what it's called, uh, I had it up a second, the Ultra Research Day thing that happened yesterday. Um, but I didn't have any shiny luck with that, unfortunately. I hope um, if you took part in it, I hope you got some pretty cool shinies.
but I did, um, I got uh, some pretty good ones during the um, Pokemon Go Fest though, so I was pretty pleased with that. I got um, Piplup and um, Weasel and uh, Rockruff from a raid as well, um, and uh, a couple of others too. I think I got about five or six um, that day, which was pretty good, and then came home and played some... Um, Legends, Arceus, and got two more shinies through mass outbreaks on that too. So I had pretty good um, shiny luck that day, but it seems to have stopped since then. Oh wow! I haven't um, got any of the legendaries um, shiny. Um, there was a couple of them going around in the raids, um, but it's only uh, me and my partner that um, play, so uh, not many people around where I live um, do the raids and things. So we wasn't um, strong enough to um, take any of those on, I'm afraid, but no, that's awesome. I actually haven't caught a single um, legendary in Pokemon Go. Um, again, my partner has, but um, he got um, Kygor himself. Um, and. Um, Who's the other one he has? He has another one, but I can't remember who it is. I'm trying to think. But he um, actually managed to get a ditto as well, which I have not had any luck um, in some of my researches to um, find a ditto. And I've been trying to catch everything, um, but never had much luck with that. But I... Um, Oh, uh, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. I have to check them out. Thank you. I haven't actually watched anybody on Twitch um, do Pokemon Go, but that's pretty cool. Uh, hay fever is really bugging me. I apologise. A really itchy nose. You know, Pokemon Go is a lot of fun, especially like um, when the weather's nice as well, going in for a, just a nice long walk around where you live. Um, just getting some time outside, you know, fresh air, which I think, especially myself, I have not got a lot of over the last couple of years so it's been nice to to get out and do some walking a number we want 135. I think we started at 110 today, so we're not doing too badly. Let's see what number we can get up to today. Or if I'm really lucky, get the shiny in a pretty low number. <laughs> Remember to press the button because it's my biggest thing that I forget. <laughs> no, I'm actually aiming for both um, the National Living and Shiny Living decks too. Um, and I'm about, I want to say, uh, probably between 70 and 90, I've kind of lost count now, um, shinies in, um, which obviously Pokemon Go is a big um, booster for that and Arceus actually, because um, you tend to get quite, excuse me, quite a few shinies um, in those games compared to what I normally do, which is um, egg hunting. 
Oh, that's so cute. I have two cats too. Um, and they're called, um, they're boys and they're called Link and Levi. Um, Link obviously from, uh, Legend of Zelda and then Levi from Attack on Titan. Um, but they sound really cute. <laughs> I also have a um, guinea pig and he's called Theo. Um, we had another piggy um, called Peanut, but unfortunately he passed a couple of weeks ago, so. But he was um, six, um, but he had a serious medical emergency and he didn't survive it, so. But no, cats are super cute. They're, um, they're really good company too, I find, especially, um, I spend a lot of time at home, um, because I'm just a, um, very freshly graduated student, um, from university and I'm currently job hunting, um, so I'm spending a lot of my time, um, online looking for jobs, setting up my portfolio and things, um, um, and then now, um, streaming as well. Um, so my partners will work Monday to Friday and sometimes Saturdays too. Um, and they're definitely good to have around and make you feel less, less alone. Um, and they're fun to watch too. Um, except from in the mornings when they're jumping on you when they want their, their breakfast. I think um, Remus is actually um, my favourite Harry Potter character alongside um, Luna and um, Newt from Fantastic Beasts as well. So I really do like your choice in names for them. I think I clicked the button, didn't I? I can't remember. I try and do it at the same time so I don't forget and then I'll either do it or I won't and then a few seconds later I'll forget. <laughs> Real short term memory. I need to try and look at the numbers and then try and keep track of it. It seems to be um actually cooling down a little bit. It was so so hot this morning and now it's um very overcast and quite uh I wouldn't say cold, cold's the wrong word, but just cooler than it has been, especially um, compared to yesterday. I think a lot of people took the um, opportunity to cut their, um, I mow their grass yesterday too. Ugh. So all the pollen is still in the air. What I should have done is take a allergy um, a hay fever tablet or something before um, before going outside this morning, but I didn't.
I was thinking to myself over the weekend, I said I wasn't going to get, let me get comfortable, um, set a uh, schedule or anything. Um, and I'm, this is not me setting a schedule, but I was thinking um, potentially, um, depending on my uh, time and um, what's the word? Depending on how things go with finding a job and that, um, until that point I was thinking maybe streaming on Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, or every Tuesday and Thursday and then um, any other day that I uh, fancy doing it, obviously I know today is Monday, um, but it would fit in a lot with my, um, I can't think of the word routine, um, because they're the days that uh, my partner Ian works late, or he has been working late, um, to work on his um, car engine um, for his car build that he's doing um, and things. So it means that um, I could, um, depending on what time I, I sh I'll stream, I'm maybe thinking like one o'clock or so, um, if then I want to stream for a few hours extra on those days. Oops, I don't want to do that. I could. Um, because I know that he won't be um, coming home um, as early as he normally would um, so I won't have to um, worry about getting dinner ready as early or things like that not that we kind of eat at the same time anyway um, every day um, but it just means I think um, I'm a bit nervous to at this point to stream around him um, and I think the more I do this, the more comfortable I get, so it won't make a difference if he's home or not. Um, but it means that it will be a little bit more... Um, I don't think I clicked the button, did I? I'm going to click it because I can't remember. Um, maybe I did. I don't know. Um, bit of structure for me. Um, and it also mean that um, you guys watching will know potentially when I'll be streaming. Um, so I'm going to say for the moment Tuesdays and Thursday around 1 o'clock, um, but that may change. Um, if you follow me on my Instagram, which is on my overlay, but also in my um, about bio on my channel page, um, you'll have the link to go straight there. Um, I might put up stories or something um, if... Um, if I am going to change the time or something like that or if I am going to stream an extra day but at the same time if you if you do follow me um you can turn on like the um I think it's like called like the notification to say to get alerts and things if um to know to let you know when I'm live and things like that too um I am still currently working on um setting a discord up as well um but I'm in the early stages of that still I only um started making it on uh, it was either Thursday night or um, Saturday, I can't remember which day it was now. Um, so I'm currently in the process of that and when that's up I can link it in the chat and things if people want to join there. It's going to be kind of like a community thing where you can share pictures of um, your shiny hunts or games or artwork or you know just random things to so kind of build like a community chat type thing. Um, but also list things like when I build like a, a schedule and alerting you when I go live and you know the the usual kind of things like that or anything interesting that I find that I want to share Pokemon or gaming related in general um do I press the button um anyway so yeah that will be ready at some point I'm still going to be working on that probably for this week um so yeah I will update you when that is um, a little bit more closer to finished or ready because um, at the minute there's there's not there's no content in there or anything um, and I'm currently setting up like uh, channels and stuff like that so but yeah on my Instagram I post all of I still need to update it I've been slowly updating it um, but I'm still a little bit behind on um, the uh, shiny Pokemon that I get. A lot of it is Arceus stuff because that's what I have been playing a lot of. Um, but I like to just um, to update on there um, to for my own kind of uh, uh, record as well. Um, and I find it fun. I also post a, a little bit of content about the trading card game because I do collect the cards. 
Um, I'm currently really into the Shining Fates series, um, which is the where you can actually get the shiny Pokemon in, in cards as well. Uh, me and my partner also play occasionally. Um, we're no way like competitive or anything like that. We uh, just you know build decks out of the cards that we like. Um, one of my favorite decks I have at the minute is a dark and uh, psychic uh, type deck, which is pretty good. Um, I have some pretty decent cards in there. Um, but um, we went to Comic Con and I also got uh, the new Umbreon tin um, and a uh, Pokeball, which I haven't fully. No, I haven't opened any of the packs from in there actually. I opened two of the. Um, oh gosh, what are they called? It's the Arceus um, card set, but I can't remember what they're called now. Um, they also released the newer set, which is like the Radiance ones, but again, I haven't actually got any packs from that yet. Um, so maybe later on actually I might um, during streams, not today, um, set up a little um, cam or something to open some packs on stream stuff as well if that's something that would interest you because I really enjoy opening packs. I have to um, stop myself from opening all the ones I have because um, I'd end up spending way too much money on cards and I don't, which I don't have that kind of money <laughs> um, to keep feeding that, that addiction. Um, but. But yeah, um, I forget where I was going. Oh yeah, so I, I share stuff like that. I also share a little bit about, um, not so much anymore, but I used to share a lot about Tamagotchis as well. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of, especially, I think I said this last time, especially on the uh, meats and things, I've been quite burnt out on. I've been running a PIX, um, the green PIX, uh, a lot over the weekend. Um, but yeah, I've just not been into them as much as I had been over the previous years, but I have been running them now pretty consistently for going on five years, so I think um, I just had a lot of other commitments and things, so I haven't been able to give the time to them, and there's been a lot of stress and stuff, so... Um, but I'll occasionally post things about that, or um, general life stuff every now and again. Um, like I did some traveling a couple of years ago and I posted about that um, but mainly it's Pokemon related or even Animal Crossing um, when I occasionally play that because um, I had again I really enjoy Animal Crossing and it's definitely one of my all-time favorite games but I just haven't had the um, the desire is probably not the right word but the um, I just haven't been able to get into it as much recently um, I kind of load into game, um, do like the very basics, you know, sort of talking to my villagers and checking out the store, but that's pretty much it. Um, my throat's getting dry again. <laughs> um, but I'll occasionally go back in there and then try and do some more building um, and things. But I have three islands, um, so it's quite a lot to um, <clears throat> keep up with because um, I have three three separate switches um but they all have a completely different theme as well so one's um kawaii themed um the other one's a cottage core theme and the other one the current one that i've been playing has been like an urban um city theme which has been it's really fun to do different themes because it um you can obviously choose whatever you like but it kind of gives you more of a drive and um things like that it also means that i'm using a range of the um, furniture in that as well not just sticking to my favorites every single time which is still fine you know but I don't want three islands that are exactly the same so um, I thought uh, giving them a theme would be um, the most fun um, and that so yeah but I'll, I'll occasionally I might stream it when I'm in the mood for it but again I just haven't been feeling it that much recently um, but I've been playing it from day one, so again, I think I'm maybe just a little bit burnt out. Um, but I'll definitely go back to it when I'm feeling it. I did a little bit more um, towards my Lego Harry Potter save the other night too. Um, I think uh, because the f uh, I got the um, Ian brought me the the Lego game for Christmas, but. Um, it's it's split split the uh, years one to four, um, and then um, five to seven or eight. I can't even remember. Um, 
into two separate games um, because they were originally sold as two separate games. Um, so in the first four years, I'm um, I think when I finished it on Saturday night, I got to about seventy some seventy four percent complete. I've been going back through all the levels with um, in free play and um, collecting all of the um, character tokens and um, gold bricks and not gold bricks, uh, excuse me, red bricks and the student in peril and the, uh, what are they called, crest pieces. Um, so that's been a lot of fun. Um, again, Ian was playing whilst watching Touring Cars yesterday. He carried on his Star Wars, Star Wars Lego um, game that I got him for his birthday last month. Um, and he's already on 8 billion coins or like studs, um, which is crazy because I haven't even reached um, a billion yet. And I'm, re I'm close, but I haven't reached it yet. And I had that game up since Christmas. So he's... Um, definitely playing that a lot more um there's a lot more strategy with that game with destroying literally everything um but again he's been having fun with that and it's been fun for me to watch um because i've watched um i've watched all the star wars with him but it was a while ago so i can't i know i know some things but i'm not that familiar with the star wars um uh, uh story line uh, the ones that I watched the most was the, uh, the one, the, what's the word, um, the first three films, but with Anakin in it, not, um, not the first produced, but the first in the actual, there's a name for it, isn't there, but I can't think what it is, it's the, um, <coughs> in order, um, I'm most familiar with those ones. Uh, Clone Wars, I think, is the one I, I'm most familiar with. But either way. It's been it's been a um it's been a fun game to um uh, as in like the Lego one's been a fun one to play, so me. Still not used to um, talking very much um, because as I said last time as well um, and I said earlier I suppose I spend a lot of time in the house by myself so I don't normally talk very much um, and I'm a pretty quiet pretty quiet person anyway. Um, I, uh, I'm pretty introverted guinea pig squeaking um which means that my throat's not used to me talking so much so i keep getting um a dry throat so i just need to make sure i'm drinking a lot again but i've got two different drinks on my desk with me so it's fine Sorry if you can hear that, he's pushing his tube, his, his cage is literally right next to me um, and he's pushing his, ca his cage, pushing his tube around and making noise. But I'm not sure how sensitive the microphone is on my webcam so you may not be able to hear it but I'm not, I'm not sure. I haven't got playback on so I can't hear myself so I'm hoping everything sounds um, good. I did do some testing before um, I started stream just with like a recording and things but um, so I hope it's still it's still fine. I think you can, it's, I think the microphone's picking it up, he's having a drink but he's a very very good boy. But he is getting old now, he's also, um, I forget whether it's this month or next month he's turning six, so I think it's this month. Uh, I can't remember. 
We got them when they were um, three weeks old though. Um, when they when they have to be separated, especially when they're boys, they have to be separated from their mother that age. Um, but they were a, a gift from my um, my younger sister, so. One sixty. <clears throat> so we've done fifty today, which is pretty much on par with the speed in which I was doing it last time. We've been streaming now for uh, fifty-three and a half minutes, roughly. So um, it's just over a minute per per one, I think. Right, Theo. He's been enjoying a um little ice cream, no it's not actually ice cream but it's in the shape of an ice cream treat that we got him yesterday he's been munching away on that doing the um, Turtwig um, soft resetting yesterday um, it takes so much longer because you have to go through all the text um, when you walk through to the lake um, so I yeah I didn't appreciate how much longer that I'd actually make the um, soft resetting feel compared to this one so um, this one I feel like I can do a lot more um, what's the word? Encounters um, in a shorter amount of time, but either way, I think it will be satisfying when um, when I uh, finally get him as well, or her, when I get them. I just hope that when we do find this shiny, I'm not going to um, mess it up, but. I bought a decent amount of Pokeballs and stuff first, so I should be well prepared. And I have uh, my um, Luxray nose, um, the I forget what it's called, but it's the Paralysis, it's a Spark or something, Thunder Wave. So I think we have a decent chance. I hope. We'll deal with that when it, um, I should say when it arises, hopefully. I think that's why I enjoy egg hunting so much, is because you don't have to worry about, um, trying to capture them. Um, and in Arceus, as soon as I see sparkles, I uh, save straight away. Um, especially with, um, Pokemon like Eevee, who's so skittish. Um, <clears throat> I did miss a, um, what was it? It was, I was doing the Pokedex and, um, I was, I can't, I can't remember who it was, I was trying to um, to capture or something and I saw the sparkles um, and didn't save, which I I regretted and I ran straight towards the grass and it was a Starly and it flew up and despawned. So that was my first ever missed, missed shiny and I was, I was pretty gutted about that and I haven't seen one since. So, um, but then in Pokemon Go, during Pokemon Go Fest, I, um, also, uh, a shiny mug kit ran away from me, so I was pretty sad about that too. Um, but you, you know, you lose some. That's just the way it is. Um, but I've learned now, especially in Arceus, make sure you save 
first thing you do as soon as you see sparkles if you're flying land and save um because you'll get multiple chances with it then um and if it is a skittish one actually try and um, battle it um so that way you can try and catch it so it doesn't run away um but that's what i found to be the most useful anyway but i'm yet still to um get a shiny alpha so i need to look up how you um i had a, a quick look readjust myself um the other day on some of the ways in which you can shiny hunt alphas um, because i have unlocked the um massive mass outbreaks and i know a lot of people use those excuse me for um for shiny hunting i saw something along the lines of basically um you can change if you have one with a sparkle next to it in a massive mass outbreak you can do certain things with the first um horde to then up the chances of getting a shiny in the second horde um i've done that a couple of times but i haven't had any luck with it yet um but whether or not i'm actually doing it correctly i'm not sure um but i'll have to keep trying um I also saw another method but again I haven't managed to get that to work so I think I just need to watch some um, videos to make sure that I'm actually understanding it correctly um, but otherwise I just um, try and get the highest odds now that I have the shiny charm as well I'm trying to perfect um, the pokédex as well um, and then just hope that I get shiny but I have caught four shiny Bidoof through it so for some reason that was one that just continued to spawn for me um, so, um, see, so yeah, I don't know why, but my, my, um, my dreamy for that game is the Hisuian Zoroa, so, um, if I get one of those, I'll be, I'll be super, super happy. It's the only one that I drastically want. Uh, the other one was, um, or the other two was Breezel, but I've, I do need another Breezel to evolve it, um, unless I can get the shiny, um, float soul. Um, alpha or something which would be pretty cool um, and the other shiny that I really like is Pachirisu but again I haven't had any luck with that one either um, but getting that an alpha would be pretty awesome too um, just other shinies I have caught randomly though have been um, like um, let me think I've got two Eevees, um, two Baneeries, um and um, Togepi and yeah, four Bidoof uh, and a whole bunch of others too. I can't even think off the top of my head, but again, they're all on my Instagram. If you're if you want to check that out. And again, I do up that um, update that pretty uh, pretty frequently, so. I think my chair, my the spring in my chair has um, uh, starting to fall apart, not fall apart, but it doesn't work very good anymore um, where I've had this chair for a while. Um, so the chair will slowly, slowly go down. So I think I've been sinking a little bit. I need to uh, buy a new chair, but I just haven't, I, haven't, I don't have the money to buy one, but I have been eyeing the, uh, the razor. Um, chair but I, it, is, it is pretty expensive <clears throat> maybe one day if I manage to land myself a job maybe it'll be the first one of the first things I'll buy myself but we'll have to see
still need to ask um, Ian to hang my. Um, um, I said I spoke about this last time, but I got a uh, print from Comic Con um, in London that was held a few weekends ago now, um, and one of the artists from the Artist Alley area um, was sold a uh, was selling a Hisuian uh, Zora, not shiny, just like the regular one. Um, in a really cool art style, um, so I bought, I purchased that from them, um, and then I bought a, faint, a frame for it, um, but it just still needs to be put on the wall. I want it to go on the back wall over there. I have like a pin board and things. You can't actually see it. My chair's in the way. Um, some stuff hanging on the wall behind me, um, but it um, has just been sat on the table downstairs um, for like a week now um, because we haven't had the chance to put it up yet, but. That would be pretty cool. I hope that it might actually be in view um, as well so you can see it next time, hopefully, depending on... Um, um, I don't even know if we have any nails to put it up. I'd have to ask Ian later because um, I'm horrible at that sort of thing. I just I can't do it. Um, so I kind of leave that sort of thing for him to to do for me. So. I also got a uh, really cool um, Eevee sticker as well, um, just a single one, um, and I'm trying to decide where I want to stick that, I'm not 100% sure yet, but that was pretty cool. It had um, some of the Pokemon, like the starters from uh, Scarlet and Violet too, but um, I decided to go with um, Eevee um, instead, so... Um, and they had also some of the other um, evolutions, but I wasn't, from what I remember, I don't think I, it was my kind of art style that I like. Um, so, excuse me, really cool. Um, but I think my favourite was the Eevee one. But hiccups. I think it's from the, I don't drink fizzy um, drinks or, um, yeah, pop or whatever you want to call it that often. Um, I find that it can give me some um, slight discomfort um, in my stomach, but I occasionally will drink it and I think it's um, uh, giving me slight hiccups. I think I pressed the button, didn't I? I always forget, but... Still no luck though. We are now Me one second.
Did that get counter up? There we go. I'm remembering to press the button now. I think I'm getting the hang of it, I hope. I'll say that and I'll forget the next few. <clears throat> Excuse me while I'm taking a break from talking, my throat's kind of hurting. I have some ice cream in the uh, the freezer so maybe I should make myself a milkshake or something in a bit. I've been meaning to do that for a while um, but I have just been too lazy even though I know I'd really enjoy it. I did get some mochi the other day though um, which I'm excited to eat. Um, it's like frozen ones and it's got ice cream in the middle as well um, so you uh, <clears throat> uh, take it out of the freezer for a few minutes before you eat it but I really enjoy mochi so I thought um, I got it from um, Aldi actually um, so we'll see if it's any good or not when we um, go to Yo Sushi I used to get it a lot um, but I um, the last few times that we've gone I've got Doriaki instead because that's definitely my favourite dessert um, I was hoping to get some from Comic Con actually, because um, the last time we went they had like a little stand of them, but um, unfortunately they they either weren't there or I didn't see them this time. Um, but but yeah, that's really good. Um, the mochi I used to get from Yosushi, they used to do a strawberry cheesecake one, a chocolate one, and a mango um, one too. Um, they did ice cream and regular ones too. Um, I had the mango one a couple of times um, and then uh, the last time we went I shared um, with Ian's mum a chocolate one but it wasn't ice cream in the centre it was kind of like a it wasn't like a frosting but it was that kind of thing uh, I can't remember exactly what it was called but chocolate filling um, but the cocoa powder was very overwhelming um, so it wasn't my favourite, but I do enjoy the texture of mochi a lot, so. We actually, for Christmas, got a uh, Japanese sweets box um, from Ian's sister, which is pretty cool. It had a bunch of different um, Japanese snacks in it. Um, so yeah, that was pretty cool. Had some of the, um, I forget exactly what they're called, but the little um, hard little um, like star. Uh, sweets or candy that um, is kind of what the fra the star fragments from Animal Crossing was based on um, and they're also what um, Lynn feeds the uh, soot sprites in Spirited Away. Um, I haven't actually tried those yet though but um, I've always wanted to try them. I know that um, they're not apparently supposed to have this. I think they're made of sugar I'm not sure but um, I know that they either don't have 
an intense flavour, or they're not overly sweet, I can't remember which one it is, um, but I'm excited to try that either way. I always <clears throat> second guess myself to see whether I missed it being shiny or not, so I wanted to wait. I was a bit unsure, I was just updating some settings quickly while that was loading. I've been messing with the settings for the chat box and stuff, so, um, but I'll, I'll have more of a mess with that off, off screen. I forgot to, um, just press save on the settings, so. I realised the chat had been up on screen for a while and I wanted to do a, um, I wanted it to be a, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, to hide the message after a certain amount of time so it doesn't kind of just block the screen, but either way. Try not to tip my headphones off when I take a sip. They're quite heavy, but they're um they're amazing headphones. The um the sound quality of them is really good. I had the um <clears throat> originally the Razer um oh, I can't remember they're the quartz uh they're actually up there, I might grab them, but they're the quartz uh headphones that were part of that collection and they were wired. Um, we've had them for maybe around three years now um, and then for some reason I don't know whether I trapped it or I crushed it but the um, I think one of the uh, cables wires in the headphone uh, got crushed or broken or something because the microphone doesn't doesn't work anymore um, and I've been having issues with the sound um, there was what I was using um, to do my meetings with uh, my university uh, lecturers and things when I was showing them work and that and uh, one day I tried to use it and they weren't working so I had to use the microphone on my laptop which was fine but um, obviously it wasn't most ideal um, so for Christmas Ian brought me these ones um, they have like the light up um, symbols and these are the Nari Ultimates I think that's what they're called um, 
they're the PC versions, obviously. Um, Ian actually has the same ones, but the Xbox version. Um, but he has a few <coughs> issues with connectivity with them. Um, in terms, excuse me, with the uh, sound occasionally uh, glitching or dropping out. But I haven't heard a single issue with these ones. Um, so I don't know whether it's to do with our house or whether it's something to do with the headphones. But um, either way, I find that when I wear these, I'll listen to music and I can't hear. They're so like noise cancelling and things. Um, but I wanted these ones more than um, the the new ones that they've released. They're kind of more rectangular um, on the actual headphone bit. But I really love the... Uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like the cushioning that they have. It's very like... Air it allows a lot of airflow and um, they're just really comfortable and they actually cover over my ears which means that they're not pressing and pushing making them hurt um, and they're also a bit more comfortable I have a pair of airpods as well um, that um, Ian got me actually three three Christmases ago I want to say now um, before all like the lock lockdowns and things um, I think it must have been three years ago. Either way, um, which I, I use them all the time as well, especially um, actually at night to listen to things if I struggle to get to sleep. Um, and, or if I was doing um, work and I want to listen to music from my phone or something. But I find after a while they um, tend to actually hurt the inside of my ears and things. It kind of presses and makes my ear hurt. Um, so these headphones have been super comfortable, even though they're, you know, very large, um, especially I find on my on my head, um, but they they have been amazing, and I actually enjoy the fact that I got them in black um, because I dye my hair um, and wear makeup and things. Um, I have a bit of staining on the uh, spongy part of my other ones because they were grey, um, and I never. I think someone was making sound. Um, I forgot what I was saying. I never, um, I never wanted to wear them when my hair was wet because I was worried that I'd have um, color transfer. Um, but now that I've got my hair, I think it's coming up as blue on camera because it was purple a few weeks ago. Um, but for some reason, my hair is not holding the color the same this time, um, and it's faded to kind of a very blue very blue colour which is still really pretty it's just not it's not what I was aiming for um, I've been doing like conditioner treatments and stuff but um, I've been having a bit of issue with my hair I've had like um, hair loss and um, stuff like that um, so I think my hair is just having a bit of a, a bit of a time at the minute um, I think it's uh, probably my age where I'm becoming more mature now and things that um my skin and my hair is changing um which isn't a you know it could be a lot worse but at the same time I used to have I could still have thick hair but um my hair used to be super super thick and I've definitely noticed a major decrease in the volume of it um and I've been having a lot of hair fall out so that's not been the most fun but yeah, I, I, I'm going to try and do another conditioning treatment on it and see whether it would turn back purple. The first time I had it done, my hair really held the colour in for ages. Um, but yeah, this time it just seems... To, I, it's either that or maybe the colour I got this time. Same brand, but maybe the actual um, formula wasn't as... Uh, had more blue tones in it more than purple, maybe. Um, but I'm not sure. I right, thank you for the follow! Welcome to the stream. I'm here rambling about my hair. <laughs> um, but yeah. I hope your day's going well. I'm not concerned I haven't been pressing the button again because I feel like we it's either that or I've been talking and I haven't been paying attention but oh wow hi from Texas I am um I'm in the UK myself so 
I hope it's not, um, I think I'm ahead of time with you, so I hope it's not too early for you, but it's nice to meet you too. Thank you, it's, uh, it's the second day we've been doing this, um, and yeah, we're on 182, so I hope, I hope it's not going to be too long of a hunt, but we'll see. I know that a lot of people have, um, gone quite a long, I have done quite long um, hunts for, the, for this one, so. We will see how it goes, but I said before that um, I'm going to go until I get the shiny, you know, even if it takes a couple of months or something, if it gets that crazy, but um, yeah, hopefully. Um, and then I was saying that um, potentially I'm going to be mixing in some other shiny hunting as well um, on Legends Arceus and doing some egg hunting on uh, Sword and Shield at some point too. So, um, but I haven't decided yet who I'm going to hunt for. Um, I'm currently working towards a uh, shiny team to do a let's play of um, of Sword and Shield again um, because personally I really love that game so and I've never done a full shiny team uh, before so oh wow yeah <laughs> yeah it's crazy how long these these hunts can go on for but 11,000 that's that's crazy <laughs> I wonder how long they've been they've been going for that for I've been pretty lucky with a lot of like my um, egg hunts and that I've never gone over a thousand eggs so in that way I feel like I'm pretty lucky um, but I don't this is my uh, first actual um, soft reset in uh, hunt that I've done I'm currently off stream doing a um, hunt for Turtwig as well but I only started that yesterday afternoon so I'm not very far into that one either um, usually I do a lot of um, egg hunting so um, and mass outbreaks and stuff too. Uh, and since the uh, Legends Arceus was released too. Oh wow, 23 days, yeah. Yeah, that, that's insane though. But I hope that they get it. I think they deserve it after that. <laughs> that um, determination and commitment as well. I feel like with this one my um <clears throat> my luck's potentially gonna be pretty bad so my my guess is maybe into I'm gonna guess maybe like one mm, 1500 2000 maybe I know some people have been super lucky with it but I don't feel like just say I got feeling that I'm not going to be not going to be one of those people but I found like the last couple of weeks since um, Pokemon Go Fest I haven't um, I haven't had the best shiny luck even in the other games and things so but hopefully it will come back the um 
the best luck I've had so far actually is um, in terms of egg hatching, uh, doing, uh, I was hatching for more Pico and I got them in 20 eggs, which I was not expecting at all. Um, but that's definitely been, did I press the button? I think I did. Um, that's definitely been my best one so far. I literally um, finished a hunt um, and I got, I think it was my, uh, my shiny Zorua, which is my like, um, my favourite Pokemon that I, I own. Um, I did, I got that in like 400 and, I think it was like 401 eggs, I think. Um, and then decided to get straight on to the next hunt um, and um, got it in 20 and I was just over the moon. I think it was when I got my Zorua. It's, it was a while ago, I can't remember. Um, but me and my partner, we have this like, um, this challenge at the minute going on that um, I have like a list of Pokemon that I'm going to try and shiny hunt when he's trying to complete all the um, Forza Horizon games. Um, we're going to see who can, um, if I can get the full list done or 150 shinies before he finishes every single game to full completion. So. Um, it was during that that I got I got them so but I also have I'm trying to do the uh, the living national shiny decks as well so I'm doing uh, other hunting on streams and stuff now too and just in my personal time because I um, have a slight addiction to shiny hunting I think <laughs> um, I have I said this earlier in the stream but uh, I have about I want to say between 70 to 90 shinies now um still a long a long way to go but um doing the community days in pokemon go and um like doing pokemon go fest a couple of weekends ago and stuff has really been help helping boost that um and trying to keep up with the other events and things um i also got a shiny um zacian and zamazenta from um codes and that a while back from a friend too which was pretty cool I don't know what the event was though um, but that was pretty awesome I'm starting to smell my um, dinner cooking now. I put on a um, gammon joint um, in the slow cooker this morning with some honey and brown sugar and some stock and um, it's been going for, put it on around mm, half 10, 11 o'clock um, and the uh, smell um, is now traveling up the stairs and I can smell it and it smells really good. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm looking forward to that, for that looking forward to that for dinner later so should be yummy it's really easy it means I don't have to worry about cooking too much this evening we're just uh, we've got some leftover veggies and stuff from dinner last night so probably have that um and some uh maybe some chips or something but we'll see we've also got a few leftover potatoes so it'll kind of be like a, a mashup of leftovers and the gammon and then we'll have leftovers again tomorrow so pretty easy couple of days of dinners so can't tell whether that was a car or whether a thunderstorm is looming I hope it's not a thunderstorm because I don't want it to 
affect my Wi-Fi or something. I think it was a car though, I hope. Or it could be a plane. I'm not sure. It doesn't, um, my mind keeps blanking. It hasn't said that it's supposed to rain today. Um, I think it's just supposed to be overcast and then um, later in the week it's supposed to get extra, extra hot, so. We have had kind of very small random thunderstorms though. It'd be like torrential rain and then thunder like once or twice and then it'll, and hail and then it'll pass over and it'll be fine again. So that's British weather for you though. You might actually be able to, I think the um, the mic is actually picking up the birds um, literally right outside of our window, like, um, or above our window, I, su I should say, on the uh, like the overhang of the roof of the house. Um, there's a little bird's nest um, and for the last two years that we've lived in, lived in this house for three years now, um, and ever since we moved in, I think it was yeah, two, three years ago. Um, every every spring and summer, there's been multiple birds nesting, um, in out there. So my cats like to um, sit and stare um, and try. They they try to jump in the window, but um, my partner's PC and printer and things is um, up against the window. So they like to just sit um, on the carpet and stare out, and then try and jump in the window and knock his things over. Um, but they, uh, it was originally, um, usually it's just swifts, um, but earlier, earlier, maybe about a month or so ago, there was a nest of um, house sparrows. Um, now I think they've fledged and now there's some um, swifts in there again, so you can hear the little chicks um, t uh, chirping away. I'll say tweeting, chirping, whichever. Bird sounds um, that they're making. But it's cute. It gets very messy though because they um they empty their nest um literally like um onto the stones beneath and onto our window still too um on the uh, ground floor. Um, so it gets kind of messy though. But sometimes if you're lucky, you can actually uh, look up at them in um, when one of the parents goes in. You'll see their little heads poking out the um, the front of the nest, and that's really cute. Um, yeah we also had a uh, nest of blackbirds in our back garden last year too but i'm not sure whether they've nested again this year i haven't actually looked um but no there, we have a lot of nature um i actually live only like literally a few minutes away from where i used to live excuse me before we moved into this house um but there's a like uh, public gardens and things um, like just to the side of our house a little bit um, and uh, I've also seen like muntjac uh, deer um, roaming around foxes and all different types of like British birds um, there's a lot of like uh, goldfinches and uh, just loads of different types of birds um, it's pretty cool to sit and bird watch sometimes um, 
and then sometimes our next door neighbour um, hangs uh, like fat balls and things um, so a lot of like jackdaws and other like pigeons and things like to attack those and eat them um, when I was sorting through um, when we put our uh, greenhouse up uh, Saturday we were searching through and I actually found some um, bird feed um, that I didn't even realise we had uh, with like mealworms and things in them so I might uh, get a feeder and set that up and then I can watch the birds um, from the garden too and I think the cats would enjoy watching them because um, our cats are indoor cats so one of them is very very nervous um, around other people especially um, we got them as uh, rescues um, from a bad situation when they were 15 weeks old and one of them um, is and it was also during uh, lockdown and things so we couldn't socialize them um, fully excuse me a second I just had a text message from Ian um, and so he wasn't able to socialize him properly so he's uh, completely fine with me he's a little bit like he's really good with Ian too but he um, he has a we found that he has a bit of an issue with uh, men um, we don't know exactly the reason why or whether it's just a trait that he's picked up or so if something happened we're not sure but it's a bit of a weird a weird thing that he has um, but anybody else he hides um, I know that some cats are generally just more nervous and things but he hides behind the sofa or, or literally in the covers of our, of our bed if other people come over um, so um, I was nervous about letting them out anyway um, but I didn't I, I was just worried about him um, because I was worried that it would spook him and cause him to hide or run away or something so I think he's a lot more um, he's a lot safer being in the house so but he enjoys sitting in the window watching the birds watching people walk by and things like that um, so he's so happy he likes to um, sit with me a lot um, especially on my desk um, or he lays on me um, in the evenings in bed and stuff so but he's a good boy most of the time he's very very sassy though he has a uh, sassy tail flick as we call it because if he's doing something he shouldn't be and we're saying to him no he'll just flick his tail at us and um, and just know that he's like I'm I'm listening but I don't care but um, yeah he's an interesting but also very goofy cat um, he likes to lay on his back uh, with his tail like stretched out to one side um, he loves belly rubs too um, but he'll like sometimes he'll flip over and his ear will get caught underneath his head and it will like pull his uh, skin on his head back and his eyes will look just like really creepy but weird um, but yeah he's a he's a weird one keep getting notifications what's going on is that just a repeat yep I think, oh no, he was sleeping down by the door um, of the uh, game room, but I think he's laid asleep on the bed now. Or he might be asleep in his bed. He has a little cat bed um, on the uh, top of the landing and downstairs. Because um, he loves he loves sleeping in his bed, so. nearly on 200 which I think is pretty good going so far <coughs> I'd like to at least stream for at least another 20 minutes or so um, but we'll see how I'm feeling at that point my throat is starting to get quite sore um, but we'll see I'm still having a lot of fun and stuff so I might go on longer um, there's no reason I can't I I haven't got a lot else planned today, so maybe I should have bought a straw, that might have been easier. They've got a lot of those um, reusable metal straws. I also have some water here with me too, so. My 
I'm really, um, still really pleased with the quality of this webcam. Um, if you were in my stream last time, you'll know that I mentioned about um, my first ever stream I did um, late last year, where, or it might have been earlier this year, I can't, I think it was last year, <clears throat> when I um, streamed Animal Crossing, um, I was using my laptop instead of my PC, um, because it had a webcam already um, in it, and um, the quality wasn't brilliant at all. It looked very kind of uh, washed and grainy and things. I don't even know what the quality of that webcam was. Um, but it just, yeah, it wasn't brilliant. So um, I w originally wasn't going to splurge on a webcam um, because I don't necessarily have the money to splurge on things like this um, currently. But um, I was looking at uh, some on... Uh, Thursday night, Friday morning, um, on the way to my uh, grad show, because um, it was it's like an hour journey there, and um, I found the the one I got, which is the Streamcam one by Logitech, and um, I saw it on um, Amazon originally, and I'd seen some pretty good reviews from it, um, and it being able to do 60 FPS compared to 30, which is a lot of what the other budget ones that I'd seen would do and um i knew i wanted at least obviously uh, 1080 um and then i was thinking about going 30 fps but then i thought i'd have a look at the price of 60 fps ones <coughs> um and i came across this one um which a lot of people said was a brilliant one for start like starting up streamers and things like that um and then i had a look on Argos as well because I, I had heard that a lot of people had gotten either used ones or something like that and I didn't want to risk it um, but it was currently on an offer um, but in Argos it was um, set at that offer price um, as its you know regular price um, and knowing that it would I get it from there and be able to get like warranty and things on it as well I decided to um, take the leap in and purchase it so um, it took, okay, I said it earlier in, the, earlier in the stream, I had a bit of a time trying to set it up because of the uh, the connectors and things, but it's working now brilliantly and I've been really enjoying it so far, so I hope you're enjoying the quality. I know it's probably not, you know, um, professional streamer quality, but at the same time I'm trying, um, especially just while I'm starting up and stuff, so <clears throat> sorry if my throat is starting to sound a bit hoarse. Let me take another sip. Again, try not to knock my headphones off my head as I lean back. My hair is um, freshly washed this morning, so it's making it, um, my headphones very slippery on my head. I would wear a hat or something, but it's way, way too hot for that. Um, which I think, streaming in the, uh, in the, um, winter would actually be a lot more comfortable probably but I have a decent amount of free time now so I thought why not make a start while I'm while I'm not working um, because over the next couple of months I will be hopefully if I can find a job excuse me I know I talk about it a lot but it's what's going on in my life right now so I need to update my um, my shinies actually because I've <clears throat> I've got a new shiny since then, but obviously I haven't got them on stream, so I don't know whether it counts or not, or whether I should wait until I um till I get some stream shinies. I think um, tomorrow I'm going to stream as well, um, and I might 
I'll either continue with this or I'll start a second egg hunt or something. <coughs> um, but I'll use, I have to use my other switch because I don't have the shiny charm on this account yet. Um, because I was planning on doing the playthrough on this. Um, I only got this switch obviously when it was released. I'm using the OLED right now in my uh, other account. Um, but do I have two shiny hands going on on there? I can't remember. I have the light tube, obviously. I can't dock that, so I have the shiny charm on that one too. I have to see what's on my... Um... There's one uh, shiny hand I need to stop because I got them both in Arceus, which is Baneri, but I think that's on my light. I don't think it's on my <coughs> um, original Switch. Um... But I'll check that um, later today or something and then I'll either stream this again tomorrow or, or I will um, start a new stream or I'll even do some Arceus or something, we'll see. We'll see what I'm feeling. But I'll also probably <clears throat> have a look into, um, excuse me, after we get this shiny, um, I need to finish the, uh, oh no, I'll probably do, so I'm trying to think in my head as I'm going doing this, I'll probably actually shiny hunt for, <coughs> um, the other two, um, before I move on to, uh, doing the Pokédex for getting the uh, new location unlocked on the new island in Diamond Pearl. I, I can't remember what it's called. Because um, you have to do that to unlock, unlock the national decks before you can access that uh, location if I'm understanding the, the thing correctly. Um, <clears throat> because I've only just finished this game. Um, I've got another playthrough going, but again, um, if you were here last time, I said that I'm doing that with Ian, so um, I, it's going to be a while before I finish that. I think we've only done the first two, two or three gyms, if that, I think. I can't remember how far we got. We did a lot of the um, underground digging and things, so we were taking it pretty slow and just enjoying it. Um, but I know he's been doing a lot of leveling um, and stuff, so... The last time we played anyway um <clears throat> but i haven't even got a ditto i can use on here yet um but i'd really like to shiny hunt for um Mareep so i can evolve it into Ampharos. um it's one of my favorite pokemon <clears throat> so i'd really like to do that um but again it depends on how long it takes us to get the shinies in um the the these shinies anyway so that's something definitely to do for the future um but i think also um <clears throat> if it takes us long i hope it really doesn't but um i'm pretty sure i saw in the the spoilers and um if you don't want spoilers maybe just uh cover your ears for a minute um that in scarlet and violet i think they say they're bringing mareep uh flaffy and ampharos back um into those games so i'd be able to um Depending on how shiny hunting works in that game, I'll be able to um, to do it um, on that game when it's released. Um, but yeah, I'm still waiting for the pre-order bonuses to come out for that before I make, not make my decision because I'm getting the, the double pack either way, um, but before I actually commit to making the pre-order um, because I'm hoping for a steelbook or something, um, as I said last time. So. 
Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for that game though. It looks really interesting. Sorry, I had a few notifications come up. I hope we see some sparkles soon but again I don't feel like we're going to for a little while I do like the little loading screen animation though I think it's really cute In general though when I came back to this game because I, I played so much Arceus it took me a while to get used to the um, controls again. But I feel like it's like that with any game really. If you've been playing it for a long time you just go on autopilot with the controls. But... I think later this afternoon, once the um, stream is finished, I'm going to actually set up my, um, is that my watch telling me? Yeah, um, to stand up. <laughs> uh, set up my YouTube account that I was uh, briefly discussing last time um, to upload um, my streams to, um, and then Hopefully when I start getting some shinies uploads and like shiny compilations and things like that, um, especially now that I have a webcam too, I'll be able to have my um, reactions and things um, too as well. Um, but it means then that, you know, if someone wants to watch the series, um, uh, if, you know, they want to put it on as background or something um, whilst they're doing whatever it is, housework or studying or whatever, that's what I tended to do for my full three years of study. Um, that way they can go back and watch them from the beginning after um, after uh, Twitch uh, gets rid of them. So um, I'm planning on doing that uh, later too. Um, I do have a YouTube account, but um, I'll either uh, repurpose that one for this or I will set up a brand new one but when I do that like my Instagram um, I'll add it to my uh, about section um, in or my channel description type thing um, there'll be a social media tab um, or panel um, I already have my Instagram linked in there and then I'll uh, link the YouTube one too um, and I'll also put the link well, not the link but the name and stuff in my uh, 
in my Instagram too um, so you can watch it back if you miss a stream or um, if someone you know wants to watch it from the beginning or whatever if you uh, yeah if you miss one or missed a uh, half of it or something if you want to then you can um, my only concern is my Wi-Fi is not brilliant so I don't know how long it would take to upload them <clears throat> as I said last time I'm gonna just have to see how that how that goes um, because Ian in the evening does tend to play um, a lot of games online with his friends um, so I might have to do that during the day but I'll have to do that on days I don't stream because I don't think the Wi-Fi could handle me streaming and uploading at the same time um, it can be pretty laggy and pretty uh, um, I can't think of the word uh, finicky um, on ge in general um, on a good day anyway because um, sometimes it won't connect even to my phone or something <clears throat> but again I'll have to see how I do that whether I um, have to break it down into smaller sections or into different parts or something or if I can upload the whole thing and then just see how long that would take um, I'm hoping the next house we move into we can get better Wi-Fi it's just this location uh, doesn't have um, the ability to do fiber or anything like that so I'm pretty much limited with the upload um, that I that I have um, and the speed in general um, but again I'll have to see what it's like in our new place when we move within the next well we're, we're planning on moving within the next six months whether or not that'll actually happen I'm not I'm not really sure of the plan yet it depends on my job and stuff when I when I get it um, <clears throat> but yeah I can only do what I can do so we will see Headphone is starting to. There you go. It was resting on my ear, weird. Sorry, <laughs> whacking my arm against my desk. My skin is super itchy um, from the hay fever. Still, um, it's still my fault for not taking a uh, hay fever tablet. But I remember to do that next time. But it's actually been really nice as well, not having to worry about my headphones dying. Um, I made sure they were charged this time, but also having the uh, external mic too which has been really nice oh, excuse me. I had um, a lot of nightmares last night so I didn't get the most rested sleep we were watching Markiplier's um, one of his newer videos it was like a battle one I can't remember what it was called um, but he was it was uh, like doing a war between two, two different sides you could choose what they were and one of them was uh, ducks um, he did like free range chickens and stuff um, but one of them was zombies and I think that's what triggered one of my nightmares because it was uh, about zombies but 
it was still funny to watch though. Um, I really do enjoy his videos on content, content I, I, as I know a lot of people, a lot of people do. But I like his um, analogy of a lot of uh, different games because as a game designer and artist myself, it uh, makes you really think about uh, the way in which you produce a game um, to make it the most uh, enjoyable and um, in some ways, in some circumstances, realistic and uh, relatable and things as well. So, um, but I do enjoy watching a lot of his, his horror content, um, even though I'm not a big, I, I really enjoy making horror games myself. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of playing them. Um, they make me quite anxious, but um, in terms of actually game production, Horror games is definitely uh, one of my favourite genres. Um, so, um, having his insight on playing so many different types of games from small to big developers and things like that is a really good way of learning um, how to improve your own um, your own uh, design elements and things. So. Yeah, I watched that and that was it was pretty good. I also watched the short animation about um, the fridge, which was also funny. Um, but yeah, I watch all of his like scary games and other scary game content too. Um, personally, I'm not a massive fan of like the sort of like um, funny games. That's just not the type of person that I am with with games and things. I don't. I have a very different taste and humor. I think. Um, compared to a lot of people maybe um, but serious and uh, horror games is definitely my kind of forte when it comes to content to watch I also love watching content of sort of like more chill games that I'm into in terms of like Stardew Valley or other farming sims and um, Pokemon content and Animal Crossing stuff like that but in terms of game development and that horror games is definitely where it's at for me it's <clears throat> something that I really enjoy producing art for as well but I'm hoping to clean up <clears throat> my uh, my final year project and actually publish maybe publish that as a game on hopefully Steam we'll have to see I'll have to go through that whole process and things um, to have a published game. It'd be more of a demo I think compared to an actual full game um, because I do have plans to fully develop that game in the future. Um, <clears throat> I just need a bit more uh, time with programming because that's definitely the bit that I struggle with the most um, because um, as I said before I am a game artist more than a programmer. I'm not very good when it comes to um, numbers and coding and that sort of thing it kind of goes over my head but <clears throat> a lot of people on my course were in the same boat you're either a numeric uh, designer or you're an artist in terms of like coding and things so I'm definitely on the art side <clears throat> compared to numbers because even uh, 3D modeling and things like that is definitely harder for me to grasp compared to um, 2D art because I originally trained in um, graphics and illustration and stuff uh, years ago now um, so I really enjoy specifically uh, concept art and um, and uh, animation and um, UI and things UI UX is definitely a big interest of mine and that's, that's actually what I'm hoping to um, to get into job wise so I hope I can find something that I'll enjoy. I can't remember whether I pressed the button. I don't think I did. <clears throat> I keep forgetting but it's fine. I think I want to try and get to let's say maybe 2.30 or something and then maybe I'll call stream there. I did say I was going to go for around two hours but obviously we've passed that now and I still want to go for a little bit longer so we haven't been lucky with the um, shiny yet though so well we'll see hopefully we might get it today if not we'll have to try next time. 
and try our luck. Birds being really loud. I wonder whether they're hungry. But I see their parents flying in and out a lot over the day and stuff, so I know they're definitely they're growing. I think they're just being very vocal. My hair is making my headphones slip again. Again, yeah, apologies if I'm a bit quiet and now my throat is still hurting. My guinea pig's still munching on his little ice cream cone treat bar thing. I think he's um he's really enjoying it. it has a I can't remember whether I mentioned it. It has like coconut and raspberry and stuff in it. I think. I think. Two twenty and still no shiny. Hi, 
Hi, welcome for the, welcome to yeah. I can't speak. Welcome for the, keep saying it wrong. Thank you for the follow. Hi, <laughs> getting really tongue tied then. Hope your day's going well. We're currently on day two of uh, the Uxie shiny hunt. Um, up to two two twenty one. This will be um, soft resets. Uh, no shiny yet, so. But yeah, welcome. We're going to be um, shiny hunting a couple of times a week. Um, I'm glad you're doing well. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing this hunt until we get the shiny and then I'm going to sprinkle in some egg hunting and um, probably some Legend Arceus and that as well too um, because I've been a little bit addicted to that game the last couple of months so you know, welcome I don't remember whether I clicked the button or not. I'm going to say I did. But yeah, I've got another notification come up. Cool, that's fine. As I said last time, I got the, um, some of the newer, not newer, I got secondhand uh, Pokemon, which ones did I get? Uh, Ultra Sun uh, Y and Omega Ruby um, off of Facebook and um, I'd love to be able to do a playthrough of those games um, because I want to go back, uh, I played like X and um, uh, I've literally just uh, Alpha Sapphire and things like that um, already but that was years ago on release and things um, but I don't have a capture card for the DS and I don't think um, you're able to get them anymore um, so I don't think that's going to be possible for me but um, I'm pretty sure I can do a decent amount of content with the uh, Switch games anyway um, but I really, uh, I know it's a very easy way of doing shiny hunting, but I did enjoy like the chain fishing um, in those games too. I can't remember whether they um, took it out of uh, Sun and Moon or not. Um, I want to say they, I want to say they did, but I can't remember. Um, I never actually finished uh, Sun. Um, 
I did the first island uh, multiple times and then never actually um, got any further than that. Um, but I've heard that um, Ultra Sun and Moon are pretty much the same as the original games, but they say if you want to play through them, play the Ultra ones. So um, it'd be interesting to see um, what's different about it and if actually I can I can get into it and finish that game um, instead of constantly restarting it. But I'm looking forward to that. Um, I haven't decided when I'm actually going to sit down and play them yet though. Um, I did say after I finished this game but um, I finished it the other day and I haven't I haven't done it yet but I've been enjoying the uh, Lego games and uh, Arceus and things so maybe it'll become my kind of uh, I'll play a little bit in bed each night or something, we'll see. Um, but I'm excited to play um, Y because I'm excited to use Fennekin again. I've heard that, um, I can't remember how you pronounce it, um, but the green cat from uh, Scarlet and Violet is going to be um, very similar in terms of like uh, humanoid looking so I'm really hoping that's not the case because they're personally not my they're not my favorite um, because in the uh, X when I played it I gave uh, Fennekin the uh, Everstone um, even though I don't mind the middle evolution I'm not a massive fan of the final evolution um, that's just my personal preference though um, not obviously everyone's gonna feel the same way as I do but I'd love to do um, soft resetting for uh, Fennekin and that too because I love I love the shiny um, I love all of like the um, silver uh, shinies um, I love Nine Tails too I think Fennekin has a blue silver and blue as well isn't it um, but maybe I'll do that maybe I'll do that but I can try and stream it maybe obviously it would probably the quality wouldn't be very good because I'd probably have to try and uh, film the screen somehow or something because personally I'm not that comfortable with emulators and things and I don't think you know it's okay to do on Twitch and things like that and I wouldn't want to to risk you know that sort of thing um, but uh, Maybe I can try and, either that or if I do find the shiny or something, I'll take a picture or I'll try and record it and put it up on my Instagram or something so you can see if I get it. <coughs> um, but yeah, I don't know what the rules and stuff are about that and I'd rather not, I'd rather not cross that line, you know, so. To be fair, I wouldn't even know where to begin with that sort of thing anyway, so, so yeah, that might just have to be a miss. Um, but I'm hoping they'll bring those um, starters back to a, another game in the future, or if they eventually, like, um, remake um, X and Y or something. Um, but I'm assuming, I don't think, in my opinion, I don't think they're going to remake Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver again. I had kind of, like, an idea that they might do it in, like, a Let's Go format or something potentially um if they're going to continue that series of games i don't know um because they've already it's already a remake um so in in line if they do continue to do remakes it'd be black and white next but um yeah um, black and white i really enjoyed too um i'd love to go back and replay that game as well um i think i have multiple copies of black and white so i probably could easily do that um I love the seasons aspect of it um, as well, so, you know, that was a, that was a good game and I really do like Reshiram. I do feel like they kind of missed a, missed a thing with the shinies. I think they should have just switched them, them to be opposite black and white um, instead of having a slight change. I think that would have been really fun, but I don't think I pressed the button, did I? It doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> but either way, you know. Um, <clears throat> oh, I'm losing my voice. 
here is what it is. The only other thing I could do actually is try and film it and do a YouTube series out of it maybe. That way I could um, have it set up in a maybe a more comfortable way. Um, but if I do decide that again I'll probably put it on my social media or something um, when I've built up my YouTube channel as well depending on whether I again uh, repurpose the one I currently have because um, I've taken all the videos down um, off of there anyway. I did like an art channel and things um, but um, there isn't such a big uh, market for that kind of thing anymore um, and I just hadn't I didn't have time since doing my degree and things I was doing art for my assignments and things so um, I wasn't able to keep up with it um, but I have even though I have obviously a strong passion for art as well I want to um, I want uh, like YouTube and Twitch to be more of a kind of um, a chill and doing something else that I enjoy as well so gaming but obviously it's all still linked because that's what I do um, but yeah maybe I could do that a lot of ideas going through my mind is just actually putting the ideas into um, into action and things but I don't also want to overwhelm myself with too many different um, projects all in one go either kind of take it slow at least to begin with anyway my foot is going to sleep though what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get to 230 um, soft resets and then I think I'm going to call stream there because my throat is feeling <clears throat> quite sore now and I think I need to go get some ice cream or something and, and drink a bunch of water um, but yeah I will be back tomorrow probably around the same time around one o'clock my time I don't know um, that's British summer time um, yeah I don't know what that is for any other time zone I'm I'm unknowledgeable of that sort of thing. I'm pretty sure we're in summertime now. Yeah, we we, we would be. I do need to work on another screen which would be the uh, the ending stream um, ending stream screen but again I'm still building on them they're not necessarily finalized yet it's just something that I have in place that um, works and it makes it look a little bit more you know uh, put together and clean and stuff so <clears throat> Are we going to be lucky on the last couple of um, encounters for today? I hope so. That would really end the stream on a high note, but if not we might get it uh, 
either I'm not sure whether I'm going to stream this tomorrow or I'm going to stream something else and then if I do stream it tomorrow then I'll stream something else on Thursday but if I stream something else tomorrow then I'll stream this on Thursday instead so there'll be another stream of this this week definitely um but I'll see what I'm in the mood for tomorrow um Kind of feeling some Arceus though, so maybe we'll do that instead. <clears throat> so this is the final, final one for today. So we'll see whether we'll be lucky for the final one. There's a chance it could be any of them, you know, every time, so there's nothing saying that it wouldn't be. Just see where the luck's on our side. Nope. Cool. So that will that will make it just gonna click on it again to give some sort of background for a second so that's at 2 30 for today um so thank you so much everybody for who came in and had a chat with me and followed um and that and if you're watching from youtube when i finally upload this then thank you again for watching um but yeah i will be streaming tomorrow again probably around 1 p.m um british summertime uh i think that's what it's called anyway um so i hope to catch some of you there if you want to come watch um if not, I will be in the background sorting out about uploading this to YouTube and stuff for later. So, um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. See you later. <laughs>